Hi 7th graders, it's Mrs. Hot from the Morgan County Partnership with this week's positive action video for you. Are you ready? Here we go. It's time for positive actions. Es sola acción positiva. We welcome you to PositiveValuesNetwork.com. Morgan County Partnership is so excited to have you with us today. Whether you are at home for virtual or remote school, maybe it's distance learning, or you might be in the classroom with your teacher or social worker or counselor, or maybe you're at home or in the workplace even. The Morgan County Partnership is so glad to have you with us this week for the Positive Action Value. It's time for PVNews.com. This week for our Team Positive Action, we're going to take a look at a video that explains our core value word. We're going to talk about it, and then we have a Positive Action activity for you to share with your siblings. Are you ready? Let's get started.
Wow. What did you think of that video? Do you have any idea what this week's positive value word is? Right. This week we're talking about the core value courtesy. And in Spanish, corticia. Courtesy. Courtesy means to behave politely and to use positive manners. Now I know teenagers, you might hear your parents saying, hey, say please, you have to say thank you, or you have to treat other people kindly. And we want to talk about this week doing those actions because they're important, not because mom or dad or someone says, go say you're sorry. <laughs> have you heard that before? Yeah, I know, right? But look at this video. Wasn't it beautiful? When courtesy comes from the heart, it truly can change someone's life. And when you act with positive actions, okay, you're doing that because you're showing respect and value to that other person. So, let's talk about this. What are some things that show courtesy? Well, words, right? Your words can be courteous. Things that you say and also things that you type on this. So for this week for Positive Actions, we want you to focus, okay, on these positive words and use them. They're really easy. Are you ready? Here they go. The first one, I am sorry. You know, it's good manners to tell someone you're sorry, okay? This week we want you to try it. If you've done something, just say you're sorry. It's a positive action. It'll make that person feel better and you too. Also, please, all the time, please, whatever you do, how many times can you say please today, okay? I want you to be thinking about it, and every time you have an opportunity, say please, and don't just walk away, say it. Use the word please, it's courteous. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I know the halls are crowded. We're social distancing now, but do you need to say excuse me sometime, or maybe you accidentally bumped someone? excuse me. Remember, it's kind to say excuse me. And thank you. Or gracias. Right, Shema? Right, Mr. Miguel? Gracias. Say thank you. And if you know someone speaks Spanish, say gracias to them too. They light up when they hear their language and feel makes them feel that you value their heritage. And finally, you are welcome. Say you're welcome. When someone says thank you to you, say, hey, you're welcome. Courteous words. That's our focus for this week. I am sorry. Please excuse me. Thank you. Gracias. And you are welcome. Can you try it? I know you can. And remember this. Just like the video, okay? Now the fellow's uncle, he was a trash man, right? And the trash man needs your courtesy too, teenager. So I want you to reach out. Have a thought this week that you're going to use the value courtesy to behave politely and to use positive manners and you're going to be courteous to everyone let's be inclusive and let's be courteous to people who are different from us who look different from us who have different jobs let's be courteous to the trash guy too he needs to know you care here's our positive action activity and see you next week Courtesy and corticia to behave politely and use positive manners. This week our activity has courteous words. The following words are in English and in Spanish. This week your activity is to color each word in English and then match it to the courteous word in Spanish. Look at Shema. First, thank you. How do you say thank you in Spanish? Gracias. Next, please. How do you say please? Por favor. Keep going and color each courteous word. And then this week for positive actions, we want you to use courteous words too. Remember, it makes you feel positive and it makes others feel positive too. Good job. I am sorry. Lo siento. You are welcome. De nada. And finally, excuse me. Perdona or desculpa. Good job again.